Hi guys, welcome back to Jazzy61. So today I want to show you guys how I maintain this hair that I have in right now. I'm about to take a shower, so I want to show you guys before this because my hands get kind of sticky with the mousse and it just I just like it better when I do it before a shower. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly what I do to keep this hair maintained and keep it looking as nice as possible for as long as you can. I'll show you all the things that you're going to need to accomplish this process. First thing is a scrunchie of some sort. No matter kind of scrunchie you use, just scrunchie. Um, hair mousse. I use the Dollar Tree brand. Nothing fancy. This is synthetic hair. Um, so Dollar Tree mousse works just fine. Spray bottle also came from Dollar Tree with just some water in it to mist the hair. Uh, make sure it's damp so you can get your fingers through and things like that. Um, some plain rubber bands for the ends to keep the plaits from coming apart and a pair of scissors because it's going to be some excess shed hairs so you want to make sure you get those off so they don't tangle into the hair make the hair look all natty and all that good stuff so let's get into this process all right guys so the first thing i want to do is take my hair out of this scrunchie and shake it out it has been in that pineapple for like three or four days i needed to do this process um and it was holding so much tension up there so it just felt good to let it down I'm going to split the hair down the middle and pull that section up by itself off to the side. I'm going to work on that right side by itself first. And I'm going to split that section based upon where my braids were. So where that braid um, splits the front and the back is where I'm going to section this hair off. And I'm going to start working with the back and work my way up to the front. That way I have that front out of the way. The first thing I do is spritz it down with some water. I get it good and, and, and damp. I guess you can call it damp and kind of run my hands through it as well as over it um, get all the excess shed hairs if you can because see there are some right there um, and make sure you get it separated because at the back you can get natty the next thing I'm going to do is add some mousse um, the mousse helps define the curls and keep them defined as I said I do not use expensive mousse that mousse came from the Dollar Tree it works just fine so it's the one that I tend to use on my synthetic hairs you want to make sure you get that good and worked into the hair um, just so you can get each hair kind of defined or each little section defined um, you'll see here in a second that's me showing you how we kind of defined it a little bit more back there and took some of that frizz out of my hair you do want to make sure you get the ends good um, go ahead and after you get through with the ends go ahead and split the hair down the middle make sure you have even lengths on both sides and then you're going to do a two strand um, plait or two strand twist um, this is just to put the hair up to keep it together while it's drying as well as to keep that mousse in there and what happens is it holds it in there and then it dries and then the hair keeps the definition and the shape of um, of what it was I guess you could say um, and once I get through with that I'm gonna go ahead and put a rubber band on the end of it the rubber band is just to hold it together if you don't put anything on there it will come uh, unraveled and then the whole process was pretty much for nothing so we're gonna put a rubber band on the end of it and then once you get the rubber band on there you're gonna pull it and look at the end and if there's any extra hair down there like you see there's some extra there trim it off okay so I want to show you this process one more time before I go ahead and speed through it here first thing you're going to do is get the hair good and dampened and moist with this bottle of water uh, make sure you get your hands through there this section was a little bit thicker than that section in the back because I added smaller pieces up there at the front and I put them closer together so the sections at the front are a lot thicker so I had to use a little bit more water but you have to do that just to make sure you get the hair separated and that you get the curls back to the original definition so I'm going to run my hands through this hair get off the excess shed hairs pull the hair apart make sure I get the section the way it is naturally or normally I wouldn't say naturally because it's synthetic um, before I go in and add my mousse there are my shed hairs there next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get some mousse in my hand you guys I use a lot of mousse I'm actually trimming off some of the hair at the front because I noticed it was uneven and I want to make it as even as possible once I get that done I'm gonna go ahead and add my mousse I use a lot of mousse guys the good thing is this mousse costs one dollar so <laughs> 
if you go through it, it's okay. I don't use anything expensive. Uh, make sure I get the mousse good and work into my hair from the tops to the bottom. You want to make sure you get the top because the top gets hit with the wind the most. It kind of gets manipulated the most and moved around the most. So you want to make sure that you get it good and hit with this mousse because it fuzzes really easy. So now that I got all this mousse in here, I'm making sure I get the middle. I'm making sure I'm rubbing underneath. I'm making sure I'm getting the ends because that's where the frizzies come in at. I'm going to go ahead and separate it and put it in my two strand twist. As I said before, before the two strand twist helps to hold the definition of the hair that the way that it comes in the packaging and you want to keep the hair as um, good looking as you can and if you want to do that this is how you're going to make that hair last once I get this hair twisted as you guys see these twists are not perfect it's just enough to keep the hair together to keep um, the mousse on there good and to keep the definition put a ribbon on the end of it and we are finished once we get the ends of the hair clipped off because that's just long straggly pieces at the bottom we are good to go so now i'm going to go ahead and be quiet and turn on some music and let you guys see the rest of this process All right guys, so I am done now. I finished detangling and everything. So I just put it back in a ponytail. A little scrunchy, pull it back. You sleep with it like this, tie it down, however you wanna do it. You can also sleep with it in that pineapple, but don't do that as much as you do this. Um, this should be a every couple of day type of thing. Now, once more here mention some things, so I don't forget to say them. Make sure that you're taking care of your real hair underneath. The point of the protective style is to keep it from the elements, but you still wanna make sure that it's moisturized, that it's still uh, grease that it's not dry and flaky or itchy underneath make sure you continue to um, 
oil your scalp. Now, me doing this style, I can typically, the last time I did this hair, I wore it for like a month and a half, um, maintaining it like this. Um, it's it's It just lasts longer. You take time to separate it and things like that. I can't afford to get different hair, guys. I can afford to get the expensive hair. I just don't think it makes sense right now. Let's be honest. At some point, I probably will. But right now, it's not that practical. I'm, I'm someone's mom. I'm at home most of the time. Um, the only time I would spend more on hair, which I even then I don't, when I have a photo shoot or something like that. This hair worked fine for my photo shoot. I'm going to need to insert a picture of it so you guys can see it. Um, so you can take hair that isn't as expensive and make it look good. You can make it look expensive. You don't have to go out and spend $500 on one section here. I know some people can do it. I know some people do it all the time and that's okay. But if you're not one of those moms or you're not one of those people that like to spend a whole lot of money all the time, this is practical. This works just fine and it lasts you as long as you take care of it. Thank you guys for watching another one of my videos. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If you try this hair, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if this helps you at all. Um, thank you guys again so much for watching one of my videos. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.